welcome to our video pre-deem tutorials. My name is Stephanie and we're going to do a last minute summer look before fall kicks in. We're going to start off with a glowy eye, keep it fresh, keep the skin dewy but shine free, and finish it off with a nice pink cheek and lip and we'll be good. I hope you enjoy. So we're going to start off with Makeup Forever HD Foundation. I'm using the color 120 because you have a little bit of pink in your skin I just want to cut it out with a yellow base. I like the HD foundation for summer because it's pretty matte so it doesn't get shiny and then we can put the glow back in where we want it. So I'm using a foundation brush to apply it. It uh, happens to be Stila number 27. It has synthetic bristles so that the foundation doesn't go on too heavy um, and I'm just going to go you know, lightly around the eyes and work my way out from the nose area out. So now I'm going to set the foundation with a nice sheer powder. This one's Makeup Forever HD as well. They go very well together. And I'm not going to powder the cheekbones. I'm just going to powder down the T-zone onto the chin and right here so that the natural glow of her cheeks come out. Now I'm going to take a bronzer. This one is matte golden. It has a light shimmer to it. And I'm just going to place it into the cheekbone area. She's got great cheekbones already, so we just want to bring them out and give a little glow. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> I like to make C's and then turn the C's into threes. Now let's finish off that nice skin with a pop of pink. I'm going to use Bobbi Brown Pale Pink with a nice big fluffy bristle brush and I'm just going to smile and pop it right on the apples of the cheeks. And you don't have to be too particular with it. Because again, we just want it to look like fresh faced, glowy, glowy goodness. <laughs> okay. Fresh faced, glowy goodness. Okay, now that the skin is prepped and looks adorable, we're going to go into your nice fresh eyes. So close. I'm going to prep the eyes with a shadow base. Kate says her lids get oily throughout the day, so I'm going to use a cream to powder finish. This one's MAC and it's called Painterly and I love it. It holds on the shadows all day long. We're going to take NARS Duo in April Fools. I'm going to use the champagne color and sweep it lightly all over the lid. This just gives a nice glow. It's not really a color. It just adds a little shimmer and champagne -ness. I don't like too much shimmer up to the brow bone. I think it's a little dated. I like mm -hmm. to keep the brow bone fresh and skin tone correct. This is MAC number 217 brush. Now I'm actually going to use the same brush and I'm going to dip it in a dark green by MAC called Femme Noir and I'm just going to put it into the shadow crease area and outer corner. Again, just to give some depth and dimension. And then I'm just going to take a pop of MAC and go right in the center here, just to give it a little bit more of a green-blue effect. Now with the steamy color from MAC, I'm going to take a smudge brush and go right under the bottom lash line to look up very lightly. Now I'm going to take a black gel liner, it's called Black Trap, and I'm going to go lightly into the lash line and just do sweeping motions. You don't have to make a perfect line because we're really just thickening the lash line. I always like to flip it up at the end just because I do. But you don't have to. So now's my favorite part, the eyelash curler. I'm kind of obsessed. I feel like it makes the entire eye lashes and curling. This one's Shuamora. It's my favorite. I'm addicted. So look down. Does that feel okay? Mm-hmm. Now it is mascara time, so close. I like to really wiggle that wand into the lash line to get the thick, thick lash line and then work your way out. No little like wimpy strokes, really get it into the lash line and it will open the eye up so much more. The whole wiggling action makes a big difference. So last but not least, I'm gonna finish you off with Bobbi Brown Tool because it's like a light pink and I'm going to top it off with a shimmery gloss so that it lasts a lot longer throughout the day. So let's just put it on lightly because it can come out pretty pigmented. 
So now I'm going to top it off with a nice sheer shimmery gloss. It's called Posy. It's from Bobbi Brown. But honestly, you can use anything that just has a little bit of color, a little bit of shimmer, and that's just going to add that extra little pop. How do you feel? I feel fantastic. I'm definitely ready for a happy hour on a rooftop somewhere. Love it. Well, <laughs> you've just been pre-deemed. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed our first tutorial. We're going to see where this goes and check out the website, www.predame.com, and enjoy. Thanks.